We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants, branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just, this is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around. We'll make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, you get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the Emerald Greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back, go around the plant, and again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top, and that'll make a nice, full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. We're here at Highland Hill Farm, and this is my wife, Marge. This is a six-foot stake. This is what we're going to use to create a property line of Leland cypresses. These are our four- to five-foot Leland cypresses. And what we're going to do is show you how to... to, to to make a hedgerow with these Leland cypresses and space them properly to get a good windbreak. Now they can be spaced from 6 to 12 feet apart. We're going to just give a little demonstration here of how we set up a 6 foot spacing. First of all, we've taken some stakes and put them in the ground where we want to have the trees. You're going to usually put this tree about 5 feet away from a property line or or some obstacle like a driveway or think something like that where you want to have your windbreak and hedge. You put two stakes in the ground and you put a string down in between the two stakes. Then you can use other things like flags or stakes or things like that to mark where you're going to put the trees. What we do is we use a six foot post here. She sets the post down on the ground at the beginning. She sprays that. That's her first one. and sprays the next one sprays right on the dead center of the line okay now when you dig you'll be able to just dig a hole first using that center space dig a hole right around the hole where the where the white paint is Okay, now what we do is we take this string away. And place the trees where we're going to have them. These are very fast growing. These are on sale to the end of this month.
And that's about what the spacing will look like at six foot. And as you can see, there's gaps there. The gaps are there because the tree needs space to grow. Now you can mulch down along that line, or if you want to get better fill, you can create a second row by taking one tree and doing another line and staggering it so that the trees are about six foot apart. And then you'll have an even tighter packing when you visually look at the trees. This gives you enough room to mow up and down the strips and yet enough room for the tree to continue to grow. And uh, these trees grow very fast, up to three feet a year. We have tens of thousands of them here, here at Highland Hill Farm. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are our 10 to 12 foot green giant, and as you can see, they're fairly tall and full all the way up. We have more over there, but this is about what they look like. And a lot of people have the green giants this height, and I'll show you another way they're grown. These are trimmed hard, so they're fuller up at the higher elevation. We have more over here. Again, these are the trimmed ones. 10 to 12 foot high, but there's a lot of them out there that are thinner at the tops that are sold. And that's like this. You can see how this one is a little bit thinner and these are a little bit thinner. So you could take your choice. Take it back over here. Show you these again. These are a little bit thinner. Some of these are a little thicker and fuller at the base. Okay, these are the these are 10 to 12. We have this one here, which is going to be thinner at the top, and this one here, which is going to be fuller at the top. This has been trimmed harder. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These have about a 32 inch or 28 inch to 30 inch basket on them. These are a pretty good idea of what we have here. And they're, they're quite large. Again, there's, there's sort of what they look like when they're in a row. Thank you. Bye.